Hi guys, um, today I'm going to do another lesson. So um, I hope you can see the guitar. Okay, I guess you can see the guitar. So uh, my room is a bit of a mess. So I'm I'm very sorry if I'm not able to do the best job I can. Uh, and you can see the lighting is a bit different. I'm actually using my monitor for the light. It's yeah weird situation right now. Um, anyway, so. Uh, I actually found a lesson about uh, that song Bol Kafara Kya Hoga and I looked all over the internet and YouTube and I found that there was not a single lesson that was able to like replicate the original chords of the song but anyway I found them that's why you're here <coughs> anyway so we'll go and uh, see the chords so basically you need a standard tuning and then you need the Kepo on the second fret. There are only three chords that you want to learn. That is, first is this. Chika. I'll step back. And yeah, I hope you can see it. I might not be able to do the best job, but yeah. That's the first chord you want to learn. So this is at uh, your your index finger is going to be at the fourth fret of the second string. Then your middle finger on the sixth fret of the third string. I hope you can see. And then your pinky finger on the sixth fret of the fourth string. Then you want your I guess that that's actually your middle finger. I kind of freaked you up. But. Uh, then you want this middle finger at the fifth fret of the fifth string. So fourth, sixth, sixth, fifth. I mean, yeah. Then the second uh, uh, chord that you're gonna use is the same formation. You're gonna lift this finger up, and then you're gonna move two frets. And the last uh, chord that you're gonna learn is going to be this. So basically, it's the, still the same formation. You're gonna move two frets. So obviously, these won't be used. Now you have basically like an A, e, a minor, A major, something like that. Yeah. These are all the chords. So if you wanna play just the chords, you can just go. You get what I mean, right? So, yeah. But I think what you're here for is the intro. So, there here's how you do the intro. So, now you know the chords. Um, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be playing this chord. It's This is how the intro sounds like. Uh, and this is the main reason why I'm doing this lesson anyway. So, how you do this is you you have this chord, you know, this first, the second chord. So, you're gonna put the second chord in, you're gonna play the second, second string open. And then you're gonna play these two or like that. See, you're gonna be like open on the second string, open that second fret. You're gonna do whatever you, you can do whatever you want here. But you need to do this. That's this is the important step. Okay, open second fret, and then you can either do this. You can play um, the. You can do that. 
or you can do this you whatever you want here okay so open second then you're gonna play these uh, strings you can do that or you can do that whatever you want you're gonna then do a thump on the strings I think you got what I mean then you're gonna move here so again let's do it slightly in the slow motion style let's, let's move my hand over here then you're, you're gonna move here on the that chord and you're obviously gonna place your finger over here so here what I'm doing is I'm lucking the second string and I'm playing the last uh, the fourth and the fifth string together it's gonna be like that okay so so you're gonna come here this is the first step open second thump open second fret here thump move over here sorry so you're gonna be playing somewhat the same way this is going to be your bass note your second string and then you're gonna play the fourth and the fifths together like this and you're gonna be thumping it this foot three times like this see so the first drum you're gonna thump like and then uh, you're gonna move back so that's the intro and that's all you need to learn for the intro um, that's then the song plays and Sergul does her lines but this thing is going to be playing in the background continuously for, for the whole song to be honest just take a listen So it's going to be playing for the whole song and you can do the strumming if you want to do it uh, in the strumming way if you want to do that uh, I suggest you do this uh, sort of muted strumming so instead of going like go like so what to, to do this uh, muted strumming you want to keep your palm or on the strings like here on the saddle so that's going to create a muted sound if you don't do that but if you put the palm it's going to sound like this that makes it sound more thumpy more bassy and that actually does a good thing uh, for this song because it has a lot of tabla and traditional dolk kind of sounds in there so anyway that's, that was the lesson uh, for the whole song honestly uh, there's this one point in the middle of the song uh, this is just an extra tidbit you don't have to do this but if you really want to uh, I got you covered over here listen to the guitar So 
when she's singing there's this guitar it's actually the same chords that you learned uh, but they are just not using any bass notes so this thing is absent right here uh, you're gonna play this this chord just not this then for the second chord which is the full formation is like this it's kind of like a AE chord but two frets down anyway so that was the whole song uh, and uh, the chord progression is very simple you just go from one two and three so you for the whole song you can just go like that you can do alternate strummings and do whatever you want but I guess you already know that so that's not my problem anyway kind of frustrating to see that there was no song on YouTube that uh, gave you the original chords they were doing I don't know what kind of shit they do <laughs> these days it's important to actually know the original chords because then you can do it whatever you do whatever you want with your scale you know adapt it to your own voice but I guess when you just go ahead and play with like whatever a minor or stuff they were doing it doesn't sound right However, if, if you find these chords somewhat difficult, I have another option for you. So, get this capo and put this on the 6th fret of your guitar. It still is actually still in the same key, uh, but you can just play this with the normal simple chords that you know, which is A minor, G, F and D, A, D minor. I won't recommend it and you can still do the intro kind of but yeah that's that was all uh, thank you guys for watching and if you want to request a lesson from me just just type it in the comments below thank you for watching Goodbye.